Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Brylin, of course. If you're true here, thank you so much for returning. So, y'all, today is the first of the month. Happy August. I don't know what y'all's goals are for this month, but definitely create some. Last month, I did 31 days sober and meatless. And we conquered our 31 days sober honey like i'm so proud of myself no liquor no smoking um i didn't even take an edible even as many edibles as i was offered last month like the irony right but didn't partake in any of it and i'm so proud of myself so freaking proud of myself i will be honest with y'all i did not make it meatless the full month towards the end of the month y'all i decided like i'm gonna have some meat i was just so tired i worked out a lot more last month than i have just previously all year really so working out so much and not getting a enough protein was just kind of uh canceling each other out so it wasn't like i was i was feeling super energetic you know what i'm saying it was really wearing me out so your girl decided to have some meat so this month i am gonna eat meat y'all but i'm just gonna really focus i'm just gonna really focus on my protein intake so i lost i think 12 pounds this month y'all 12 whole freaking pounds i'm gonna insert some pictures for y'all um i'm really proud of myself and i have to say y'all i wasn't counting calories i wasn't like strict dieting it was really about just being mindful of what i was eating and i think really just cutting out alcohol um helped a lot and since i stopped smoking i wasn't like binge eating because i had the munchies um and i wasn't letting my emotions get the best of me either which normally would cause me to binge eat as well because like i said i was i was um combating those feelings with working out so i'm 12 pounds down y'all and i feel so good like i really want to continue this month honestly no liquor and i was even trying to give myself i was telling myself like oh well if you want to have some wine with dinner like you can do that like that's okay but you know i realized just knowing myself and being realistic with myself y'all when i drink is to get drunk even if it's even if it's like subconsciously like i may not go into drinking like with the idea of i'm going to get drunk but it just becomes i don't know i don't know i think it's just like the feeling that it gives me the sense of relief that i feel like it gives me causes me to take it there it causes me to get drunk so um I'm, I just have to not drink liquor. I'm not to that point where I can just pace myself or have a little drink, you know, with dinner or something like that. I just have to be realistic with myself. I was thinking yesterday, y'all, like after completing a whole 31 days, I was thinking like drinking has been my coping mechanism forever. I'm like forever. It sounds bad, but I have been drinking forever. And it's like once I've once i got to the legal age where i could buy my own liquor baby it just turned up it just turned up so i'm like <laughs> we got to figure out a healthier way we have to figure out a healthier way and um i have to really conquer this drinking spirit that i have um and hopefully i'm taking the right steps to doing that so this month i'm continuing my sober journey um and with smoking as well but i'm also going to add some other things to my list i'm definitely going to get on a lot get on a stricter workout schedule and i'm definitely going to um make sure that i'm centering myself around god I am challenging myself this month, y'all, to make it to church every Sunday. 
and it's kind of making me nervous just speaking this out because it's like ah the accountability but I need it I need the accountability I do I, I I'm like Brylin if you can stop drinking for 30 days you know if God can give you the strength to do that like give him the thanks of that so I definitely, I definitely want to make it to church every Sunday um, this month. I'm like, if I can make it to school every day on time, if I can make it to work, then I can make it to church, period. There's no excuse. So that's my goal this month, y'all. Up my protein intake, create a workout schedule, make it to church every Sunday this month. And I had another one, but I I don't really remember, y'all. I don't. I don't. But, anywho, if you made it this far in the video, I, I have to get to class. I just wanted to get this out while it was on my mind because I'm like, it's the first of the month. I made it a whole 31 days. I'm so proud of myself. And even just changing my eating habits, like, I'm just really proud of myself. Like, the discipline, nothing feels better. Nothing feels better than doing what you said you would do. And the reality of that, like, brings me comfort. I feel like I've always struggled with discipline and just doing what I said I would do. So, <sighs> growth. It makes me feel good. It really makes me feel good. I know a lot of y'all have subscribed to me because of my hair videos. And y'all just be patient. My hair videos are coming. They are. But I'm in theory one right now. So it's just a lot of book work. I haven't done much hair. But only one week left of this. And I will be in Elevate. So don't worry. The hair videos are coming, honey. I love y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Com comment below if you've got some August goals. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Later.